Hello, my name is Dr. Asha Subalakshmi Musnuri and I am the Clinical Director and Head, Department of Medical Gastroenterology and Liver Diseases at Care Hospitals, High Tech City, Hyderabad. Today I would like to discuss a bit about Hepatitis. The word Hepatitis means inflammation or infection of the liver and there are many reasons for this Hepatitis. The commonest cause of Hepatitis in India and in the world is Viral Hepatitis which can be of various categories that is A, B, C, D and E. Virus Hepatitis A and E occur due to contamination with food or water especially in the monsoons when there is a lot of contamination especially with street foods and uh, when patients do not wash their hands they can spread disease from one to the other. Now hepatitis A and E are short term or short lived causes of hepatitis characterized by fever, vomitings, sometimes loose motions and yellowish discoloration of the eyes or urine that is jaundice and uh, these last only three to four weeks and are self-limiting and do not have any long-term consequences on the liver or in the body except that viral hepatitis E in pregnancy is very risky and can sometimes cause loss of life to both the mother and the baby. So this monsoon, especially this World Hepatitis Week and Month, please make sure that you wash your hands and practice all hygiene practices as far as possible. And be careful about what you eat and drink, especially cold foods which are not heated or which are not fresh. Then viral hepatitis B and C are more dangerous because they cause chronic liver disease and have long-term effects on the body, cause cirrhosis and can even cause cancers in 8 to 10 percent of the population. So please make sure you get yourself tested and screened for hepatitis B and C and get vaccinated this World Hepatitis Day. The slogan for this year by WHO for 2022 is hepatitis can't wait or I can't wait meaning one should not wait to get tested or screened for hepatitis B and C, one should not wait to get vaccinated and one should not wait to spread this information in society and make sure that your family and contacts get vaccinated and get this information too. Hepatitis C is an RNA virus while hepatitis B is a DNA virus and the burden in India is about 4%. So please do your bit in India by making sure you get yourself screened, tested and vaccinated. And if you are positive, please approach the nearest gastroenterologist or liver specialist for further advice and treatment. Thank you.